to having a family. I love it. These animals are fantastic and I'm very fortunate. You guys see my friends behind me here kind of relating and playing with the dolphins? Does it look like they're having fun? The dolphins are the trainers. Which one? Both. That's what I want to hear because it's true, you guys. The dolphins, you hear all those little squeaks and squeals? That's them having a good time. Listen to that. The dolphins are laughing back there. And the trainers are having a grand time as well. This is called a relate. This is us getting to hang out with our animals and build our relationship with them. And that's why we get to do all these awesome things and swim with them. But it also creates, <laughs> it also creates these ambassadors for us to give somebody an opportunity to come say hi to a dolphin. Are you Samantha? I heard you're excited. I'm excited too. Where are you from? Chula Vista, right here in San Diego. Awesome. Not a fellow San Diegan, it doesn't happen very often. Oh my goodness, you get to be Kala. Kala, can you say hi to my friend Samantha? Okay. This is one of my favorite dolphins. Oh, her little kitty pie. Samantha, I want you to ask her to vocalize for you. Okay, so you're gonna stand all the way up here, put your fingers out like this, and just bounce them up and down. Go. <laughs> that was very good. Yes. She makes a lot of noises. You probably have to tell like you're hoping a basketball. Now wiggle your fingers like that. <laughs> I call that the creaky door noise. I don't know why. My favorite noise, you wanna hear it? Okay, take your finger and press like a button right on her forehead. <laughs> did you make that noise? Or was that her? Did you do it? Yeah, you did. That's my favorite. All right, Samantha, go ahead and reach out and give her a little breath down. What do you think she feels like? Very soft, I agree. Very smooth and soft skin. All right, let's tell her she did a good job. Go ahead and put your hand back. She's going to get super excited. Or look over there at stage, one or the other, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give her a fish. Just toss it in. Good job. I just gave you a capelin. Here's another capelin. Toss it in. Perfect. This is a smelt. Nice. Ugh. Here's a big you wanna know what kind of fish that is? It's a dead fish. Go ahead and toss it in. Don't let go. Perfect. Smell your hands. No, no. Are they kind of fishy? Yeah. You want to learn how to get rid of that smell? I'll show you. Put your hands together and start rubbing them. Get them nice and warmed up. Perfect. Oh, are you ready? Okay. So now, faster, 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 faster. Rub them up on your shirt. <laughs> she fell for it. She did. Are you taking her home today? It's going to be a long ride. Yep, you did awesome. You made my fun. All right, come on over here. You want to get a picture? Okay, you might want to scoot back a tiny bit. Okay, so now, Samantha, we're going to wave and everybody because you are the star of the show right now. She is going to wave behind you. And is this your mom? Yeah. Are you going to get a picture? Okay, get ready, mom. Yeah. I'm going to yes, get out. Andrew. Wave. You want to make sure everybody's waving? Give her a big wave, you guys. Oh, Samantha! 
the? I had no idea that was gonna happen. Good job, Pella. <laughs> awesome. All right, you you get out of your cuteness. You did awesome here. I want to give you this because we want to pass along our passion for these animals to the next generation. Thank you for helping us out today, Samantha. Let's hear it for her. And Paula. Back to you, Dylan. Thanks, Steph. Now, as she mentioned earlier, relationships are the biggest part of our job. What allows us to get into the water, as you saw with these animals, and interact as closely as we do. Now, you may have heard that we do have a six-month-old baby in this area. He's about to turn seven months old, which is super exciting for us. Uh, because everything we do working with him is based off of mom and our relationship with mom. And when mom allows us to get close, then we get to get close and hang out with little baby. Now, as you saw, Pella was out here hanging out with Steph, and she has a really good relationship with her. She's one of the reasons that she got to meet and interact with our uh, newest member of the area, Samantha. But these relationships allow you folks to get even up close and personal with one of our favorite animals, which is Argo. He is our short-finned pilot whale, and he is about 2,000 pounds. He's going to be joined today with his best friend named Bodhi, who is just about five years old, and he's a lot of energy and a lot of fun. They're going to be having a really good time with their trainers, and we are very excited to show you this special moment between Steph and Argo.
That's great to hear because it's not over yet. Now, if you do need to leave at this time, we do ask, please make your way up the stairs, out the back side of the stadium. This is for your safety as well as the safety of our animals and trainers. Again, if you do need to leave, just head up those stairs and out the back. Now, one of the biggest things we do here at SeaWorld is work with our animals, but we also work with a number of other organizations around the world to reduce, reuse, and recycle. We want to conserve the world that we share. And it's up to us, all of us, to take care of not only our land, our seas, our skies, but all of their amazing animals that are inside of it. Right, folks? Well, these dolphins are going to be coming out here getting up to speeds of 22 miles an hour, 15 feet out of the air. We're going to need you to be a little bit more excited, right, folks? Yeah! Well, it looks like the gang's all here, so I think it might be time for a little bit more fun. Let's live it up, because the world is ours. From the sky to the sea.